The M5 women's rowing team made history at Kitty Vitty Lake this morning. They broke the women's course record at the 200th anniversary of the Royal St. John's Regatta. The members of the record-breaking team are Katie Wadden, Alyssa Devereaux, Jane Brody, Nancy Beaton, Amanda Ryan, Amanda Hancock, Spare Maria Clift, Cox and Dean Hammond, and Coach Bert Hickey. NTV's Mark Dwyer has the details. It was an historic performance on an historic day. M5 delivered a record-breaking performance this morning at the 200th Royal St. John's Regatta, stopping the clock in a brilliant time of 4.56.10, breaking Oz FM's 2003 record by 0.6 of a second. Today was a lot of pain, but it's nothing compared to the last three years, day in and day out. Six days a week. Oh. Did you dream this? Uh, yes, I, this is like a dream. I don't feel like I'm awake right now, but oh, this is unbelievable. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time, so still feels like a dream. <laughs> did you Did you know in the pond? Did you got Did you guys have a sense? Because you must have heard the cheers. Um, I mean, we really didn't know. We had to wait around there, as you saw the officials to get the time. So we didn't want to celebrate too early or anything. So. <laughs> It feels amazing. I mean, when the girls Oz of him did 4.56.7 in 2003, it was unreal then, it's unreal now. I think it's this is just a sign of the sport, like, changing and evolving and, you know, training smarter. And that crew was an amazing crew, and this crew was an amazing crew, and I'm so proud to be part of both. M5 was brilliant from the start, and their performance was the result of three years of intense training designed with the intention of breaking the 15-year-old women's course record. M5 unofficially rode a 455 last week, but today, the record officially fell. It's pretty unreal, and honestly, the best part is the friendships, as corny as it sounds, but we couldn't do it without each other, and we're so lucky to have this crew. I'm so happy for these girls because, you know, I've witnessed how, how hard they work from, you know, their you know, and they push themselves through the rigors day after day out, and I'm just so happy for them. I am. I mean, they deserve it. I'm so happy for them. They deserve everything. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Meanwhile, on the men's side, Outer Cove rode one of the fastest times in the history of the regatta, but it wasn't in record time. Outer Cove stopped the clock in a brilliant time of 8.55, four seconds behind the current course record from 2007. Both Outer Cove and M5 will have an opportunity at record times again tonight in the men's and women's championship races live on NTV at 6.25. For now, M5 will savor the moment. For NTV Sports, I'm Mark Dwyer. Just to be safe, it looks like, doesn't How do you like to start there, Gord? I just loving this. Just seeing those five crews out there. Uh, five strong, strong ladies crews. And right now, this is the icing on the cake. You work so hard, there's, what, 80, 90 ladies crews, and you're the top five. I always take my crew to the top of the lake, and I say, soak it up, ladies, because you deserve this, and enjoy it. You talked about the uh, two, uh, about the Cal group. Let's let's run through that lineup. Of course, they were just one second behind Smith Stockton today, and the uh, uh, coxswain of that crew, crew is Frank Norris. I believe he's also uh, uh, rose with the NTV crew. Is that right? Is yes. That the okay. There's a uh, stroke of that crew: Hillary, Hillary St. Clair, Shannon O'Driscoll. Oh, sorry, Shannon Driscoll, Lindsay Denine, Carla Chater, Stephanie O'Quinn. And Jeff Jennifer Grisek, is that how you say it? Grisek, Grisek, yeah. Yep. Uh, and in stake four, Steers Insurance, the Cox with there, Jimmy Carroll. Everyone knows uh, Jimmy from around the lake. Carolyn Cody, Michelle Davis, Cindy Roach, Connie Duffett, Kimberly Horwood, Rhonda Bridger, Valerie Ryan, who we chatted about, and Heather Tizard, coach there is John Handrigan. Rounding out the race, Pooch Cove Pharmacy at 526. They jumped in on the second race of the day, I think, Gord. They did. Uh, Melissa Snow uh, is the coxswain of that crew. Also in the boat, Nicole Boland, Charmaine Wiseman, Alice Codner, Stephanie Bolger, 
Megan O'Reilly, Tara Thomas, Colleen Bolger. The spear is Melissa Doyle, coach there at Clyde Tucker. And that's a great looking shot for him. And I can tell you, Melissa, Melissa Snow has quickly become the sweetheart of Kitty Vitty. She's one of the kindest individuals you'll ever meet down here. If you're a coxswain and you need somebody to take out your crew, she's right there for you. She's steering her uh, son's crew in the midget race, and she's put a lot of time in on this water. Glenn, I know you love the drone shot. And I do. It, it provides a look right now that you probably can't see from, from pond side. It looks like M5 has a has a bit of a lead, Gord. You know the lead better than they anyone. They got a slight lead, and as, as I mentioned there earlier, Cal Group had seated second, and right now they're in second. But I can tell you, if you're ever going in with the turn with Paul Ring, you want to be ahead because he can nail you on that turn. I often like the phrase, you don't, you don't often win championships, you don't often win championships on, on the turn, but you can certainly lose them. Is that right? Look at this. Absolutely. So M5 added the turn there early. I think they're a little bit behind their uh, time from this morning, but they're certainly rowing an incredible, incredible row here this evening. Of course, the big, the big story, of course, is 450, 456.1 this morning. Uh, just from where they are right now on the pond, do they look like they're within distance of, 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 of striking that or, or even better? I'm so distracted and, and excited at the same time. I didn't get their, them on the cut. I had their pieces from this morning. I feel like they went in a little bit behind from the where I had them cutting and picking up this morning. Um, but the wind is up a little tiny bit as well. And of course, endurance. This is where endurance and strength and all the conditioning work that you did put in all plays, plays an important part right here. Absolutely. I mean, I spoke to a numerous amount of people, and I had them, uh, the clock on M5 there today. And where they were placing, they I really didn't think it was there. I knew it was super, super close. But what they pulled in last, that last minute, they put an incredible amount of focus on strength training this year, and it paid off in that last 60 seconds. Although, although strength is, is so important here, technique is, 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 is as crucial, perhaps more. I mean, you cut these races up into, into, into portions, don't you, uh, Gord? I know when you steered crews, top lead of crews, what's the race plan here now for, uh, for M5? Well, right now they're 340, uh, 3 minutes and 40 seconds in. So they're waiting for their coxswain to say a minute out, girls, and uh, bring it home. And the other thing, certainly about the ladies' race, I mean, it's such a sprint, and it can really play on the, on the mental state. And uh, you can row on a lot of heart. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of heart out on that water. M5 with the lead, but you, you were right earlier. It looks like a big race uh, uh, for second place so far between uh, Smith Stockley and the Cal Group as well. Absolutely. And, and they know that this is M5's race to lose. So you're rowing on guts and glory right now, and you're trying to place and row the fastest time you possibly can. They look strong from the pond conditions compared to this morning. Much difference? Uh, it's up a little bit from my perspective. I got them at 430 there right now. Good push. It's not going to be a, uh, it doesn't look to be a record time for sure. It doesn't look that way this evening. But as I mentioned, they got it this morning. And uh, they're up for another sweet victory here right now. Special shout out to Amanda Ryan, rowing number two in that. I scared Amanda, and uh, her and her family are one of the sweetest group of people you'll ever meet. We're at 457 right now. The record won't be broken in the, in the, in the championship race, but there'll be a great, up oh, 503, it looks like, Ward. Still an incredible time. Incredible. And they're happy. Mission accomplished. Three they wanted years. to break the record. And look at this for second place. Wow. Okay. It's a great finish, and I wouldn't be able to tell you who came second. I'm not sure. I think it. I think it might have been. I think it might have been Stockley. Well, I would say it's Cal. So we're going to okay. place a little bet on that, Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you water. It's 30 degrees. Whoever wins gets the extra water. The other thing that people don't realize is I don't know if you can uh, you can see in the screen um, about three feet out from the finish is actually the finish line. Oh, it's okay. not on the kegs. Okay. Because when they put in the laser. They can't put it too close to the kegs because it breaks the laser. So they actually had to back up the finish line two to three feet. Mm. What a win, though, today for M5. You, you, you gun for three years for the Royal St. John's Regatta, the 200th anniversary edition. Your goal is to break the record. They did it. Your, your other goal is to win the championship. They did that. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of the perfect day for, for M5. It did start, as you said, three years ago. <clears throat> what a fantastic performance. I'm still not sure who actually finished second. 